In this week's parasha, it says, "Betzedek tishpot amitecha." With righteousness, you should judge your friend. Rashi explains to us in the second explanation that this is referring to "Evidan et kol hadam kafshut," which is actually Mishnah in Pirkei Avot. A person must must judge. Dan et kol hadam. He must judge every person, every single person in the kafshut for merit. So that means, let's say, God forbid, we see a person who who we think is sinning, or they actually look like they're sinning. We see a person eating uh, not kosher meat or driving on Shabbat. A person has a has an obligation to be done to judge him with kav schut. We say, maybe maybe the doctor prescribed him this meat, and if he doesn't eat it, it's uh, life and death. Maybe he's driving on Shabbat because he's not going to Hatzalah call. So a dan kol adam with kav schut, a Mishnah, is learned from this week's parasha. The um, the Kiddushat Levi, Reb Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev, one of the great Gedolim from Europe, he explains that if a person judges others favorably, we learn from the Besukim, we learn from uh, other Besukim, that Hashem will judge us back favorably. So it's it's really like we say, Midah Keneged Midah. If we judge others favorably, then in return Hashem will judge us favorably. So in the end, not only are we showing that we're having compassion on another person, but the compassion ends up coming back to ourself. We know it's brought down in uh, Sever Havitz Haim, the Havitz Haim brings down that unfortunately we know the first Bet HaMikdash was destroyed. The second Bet HaMikdash was also destroyed. The first Bet HaMikdash was destroyed because of three things. Avodah Zarah, Giloy Arayot Shefichad Damim, which is uh, idol worship, idolatry, and, and adultery. The three uh, cardinal sins which God forbid a person must give up their life. And that's what the first Bet HaMikdash was destroyed. And the Jews did Teshuvah. They got the second Bet HaMikdash. And then the second Bet HaMikdash got destroyed. And why was the second Bet HaMikdash destroyed? Because of one sin, one sin only. Of the sin, God forbid, of Lashon Hara. Of uh, speaking evil, speaking bad about one Jew to another Jew. And the Havit Chaim brings down, he says, that just like the first Bet HaMikdash, the three cardinal sins brought it down. And that was the Teshuvah that was needed. So we see the Lashon Hara is just as bad. Lashon Hara is speaking bad about another Jew is just as bad. Because that itself was able to bring down the Bet HaMikdash. It's bad as the three cardinal sins that brought down the Bet HaMikdash. Lashon Hara brought down the second Bet HaMikdash. And what do we see? Lashon Hara is a mitzvah which is Ben Adam le Havero. Uh, There's mitzvot Ben Adam la Makom and Ben Adam Havero. Ben Adam la Makom is between us and Hashem and God. Ben Adam Havero is between us and our friends. And we see the second Bet HaMikdash because we failed in our Ben Adam la Havero between us and our friends. It was destroyed. So we'll bring the third bit of Dash, unity. And what best to bring unity than judging others favorably? If we see ourselves, if we see, if we ourselves act in a way where we judge others favorably, and like we explained from Kedushat Levi, Hashem will also judge us favorably, then hopefully that will lead to a positive cycle, and that cycle will Bezat Hashem lead to, to the ultimate redemption, the ent- redemption of, of the third bit of Dash, to Jews just loving Jews, being together, bring as one, having achdut and unity, and all being together, Bezat Hashem, and the third Bet HaMikdash, Bimra Amenu, Amen.